Motorsport TV Live, brought to you by Motorsport Tickets, the dedicated motorsport experiences provider. Hello and welcome to Motorsport TV Live. I'm Chris McCarthy with all the latest from the world of motorsport. Max Verstappen says worn tyres made him run Lewis Hamilton off track. Franco Morbidelli praises Valentino Rossi's unbelievable final ride. And McLaren per Audi takeover rumours to rest. That's all to come here on Motorsport TV Live. Formula One first and McLaren has revealed that a crack in Daniel Ricciardo's chassis was the cause of the power loss that triggered his retirement from Formula One's Brazilian Grand Prix. Ricciardo was battling for the points at Interlagos on Sunday when he suffered a sudden loss of power and had to drop out of the race. Following an initial investigation at the track, McLaren discovered a problem with components relating to its power unit installation. McLaren team principal Andreas Seid said in the initial investigation we found a technical issue a crack on the chassis side of the power unit installation which we need to now investigate i can give you a better update next week in qatar ricardo reckons that if he had not hit trouble then there was a chance that he could have pulled off a one-stop strategy to beat ferrari duo carlos Sainz and charles leclerc Staying with Formula One and Max Verstappen says worn tyres were the reason why he ran wide at Turn 4 during his defence against Lewis Hamilton in Formula One's Brazilian Grand Prix. The Dutchman's actions forced Hamilton off track, causing some controversy with Mercedes in particular believing he should have been penalised. But Verstappen himself is clear that he feels he did nothing wrong and says he only ran wide off track because of a lack of grip caused by old tyres. We both, of course, tried to be ahead into the corner, and so I braked a little bit later to try and keep the position, he said. The tyres were already a bit worn, so I was really on the edge of grip. That's why I think I was already not fully on the apex, so then it's a safer way of just running a bit wide there. In a way, I was, of course, happy that the stewards decided that we could just keep on racing, because I think the racing in general was really good. In other Formula One news, McLaren has strongly denied claims that, is, that it has been purchased by Audi as part of a deal to secure the German car manufacturer and F1 entry. A report on Autocar website on Monday said that Audi has agreed to a takeover that would give it complete control over McLaren's road car and racing operations. Earlier on today, I spoke to Motorsport.com's Formula One editor John Noble and asked him if there was any truth to the story. There was a report in Autocar this morning that Audi had bought McLaren. The deal was done and gone through and would, would control the entire McLaren group, which would be a, a precursor to an F1 entry. Um, McLaren has issued a very strong denial, uh, insisting that's not the case. There's been no change of management, no change of ownership. Um, so completely put down the story. Um, however, from what we understand, is that VW is now ramping up its preparations for Formula 1 and considering how best to do it with its brands. Um, I think it's the current choice now is whether it's Audi or Porsche into Formula One. Um, one option is to take Audi and do a partnership with McLaren um, that could tie up from 2026. And the other option is to take Porsche and do that with Red Bull, um, which is developing its own engine. So we understand that both these possibilities are on the table. No final decision is taken yet. Um, but I think all we can say for near certain is that the Volkswagen Group is coming to Formula One. John Noble putting the rumours to rest there. Well, there's plenty more still to come here on Motorsport TV Live. Do stay with us.
Super GT there, and you can catch all the action from Fuji Live on Motorsport TV in just under two weeks' time as the series heads into its final round. British Touring Car News now, and former IndyCar racer Jordan King is eyeing a surprise move to the series. The 27-year-old, who made two Formula One FP1 appearances with Manor in 2016, tested a motor-based performance Ford Focus at Snetterton last week. King is one driver in the frame for the team, which is understood to potentially be parting ways with Mark Blundell's MB Motorsport operation. The British driver has not raced since the Bahrain round of the World in Championship in 2019. On the prospect of racing in BTCC, King said, It's a cool championship, good racing, and if I can make it a pure professional drive, then I'll look into it. But it very much comes down to that. Now, MotoGP news and Yamaha's Franco Morbidelli said his mentor Valentino Rossi was unattackable in the Valencia Grand Prix. Morbidelli shadowed Rossi for most of Sunday's 27 lap season finale and eventually latched onto the back of him before trying to snatch 10th away in the latter stages of the race. But says the retiring legend was riding unbelievable. When asked to describe the final few laps of the race, the Yamaha rider said, I was thinking that I was very, very lucky to enjoy his last laps in MotoGP from a really special position. And it was great. He was riding fantastic. He was riding unbelievable. He increased the speed in the last laps. And you could see he was really appreciating it and enjoying his last moments in MotoGP. And finally, news from the National Hot Rod Association. And on Sunday, Toyota unveiled its new car for the 2022 Funny Car Competition. In an announcement at Auto Club Raceway in Pomono, California, Toyota revealed that the GR Supra it will campaign next season, replacing the Camry, which Toyota has competed with in Funny Car since 2012. Prior to the Camry, Toyota ran the Celica, then the Solara. The 2021 season marked the 20th anniversary of Toyota's official involvement in NHRA with competitors in both Top Fuel and Funny Car. Well, that's all for now. I'm Chris McCarthy. Join us again here on Motorsport TV Live for all the latest news from the world of motorsport. Bye for now.